In two years, we will have spent half of our lives together. I don't think I can find the exact moment when I knew, but for the longest time, I've known that I couldn't be without you. So one of the things I found out about Matt this week was that he writes poetry. So I'm gonna to read to you a poem that he wrote to Paige on, his first, on their first anniversary when they were 17 years old. I'll say this once before I lose control. I don't know how, but you've taken my soul. Looking into your eyes, I can see it too. There is no disguise because your love bleeds right through. I love you, babe, with all my heart. I promise you I have from the start. From the first day I laid eyes on you, you've been in my dreams and my heart too. We all know how rare it is to find your soulmate and partner at such a young, young age like Paige and Matt. They have been through so much together, but have let each other live their own experiences and become individuals. But ultimately they knew they were meant to be. It has been so fun and amazing watching them grow up and we are so excited to see what the future brings for them. Matt, I can't believe that today is the day. We're getting married. It has been 4,381 days since we first said I do to being boyfriend and girlfriend. And now, just two days shy of 12 years, we get to say I do to the rest of our lives together. To the love of my life. We were just kids when we fell in love. But I think we knew what it was. Not entirely, but who understands love entirely? At one point, it was sneaking off to get our favorite dessert, bunking up in a miniature twin bed, or dancing at a social without a care in the world. I have loved getting to spend each step along the way with you. I cannot wait to grow old with you and experience this crazy life together with our future litter. Thank you for being the most kind, patient, and supportive person. I feel so lucky that you chose me to spend the rest of your life with, especially since everyone loves Matt. You are truly my best friend, and I'm grateful that I get to call you mine for all the days of our lives. I love you forever, Paige. Get up my eyes. Oh my God, look at her. Look at that dress. Hi. Oh my gosh. You look so beautiful. Thank you. Look at that. Give me a little. Full spin. <laughs> Come you here. Look so Come here. She <laughs> looks here. Ooh. I love the piece. I love it. Like, oh, I had a feeling we were going to be right here when I opened right. my eyes. <laughs> They're not that high. They're not that high. Gosh, you look amazing. This dress is fantastic. Thank you. <laughs> and here is the last poem you will ever get from me as a single lady. Ed Sheeran might be singing our song tonight, but wouldn't you prefer if I sing to you on that long Hawaii flight? No. And what do you want from me? To sing really loud for all to see, it's fine. I can't sing, so I won't even try. At least we'll be together when we fly, fly, fly. But before we do that, we have business to address. So I need you to meet me at the altar in your white dress. And you damn well better be prepared to say yes. Or I do. Whatever. Who gives a damn? I just want to marry you. From the love of your life, Matt.